Hello everyone. This is Robin Cardin. I'm starting again with our special fun Facebook Live tonight. I don't typically do Facebook Lives on Thursday nights. Sometimes I do them Thursday afternoons, but I thought I'd do something different and switch it up today. Since I had Zoom calls all day today, I feel like I had so many things going on. So I know some of you are just popping on here. I started a little bit early. Um, hi, Susan. Hi, everyone. I have a really fun uh, project for you guys today. It's not a card. I do have a card too. Hi, Cecilia. Uh, hi, Jenny. So I thought I would do the non-card and then I'm going to show you a card that I haven't. Hi, Alisa. Alyssa. I don't know why I would say Alisa. Alyssa. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Jean. Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different. I already have the first project planned. Um, I've already designed it. It's going to be a box kind of a thing. So it's going to be super fun. And then I'm going to just on the fly do just a simple card project. So it's going to be super simple. I'm looking around making sure I have everything I need. And I'm doing this a little bit different. I'm trying not to set up my other computer. I can read your guys's uh, comments. Hi, Amy. Hi, Debbie. Hi, guys. So for those of you that just popped on the other one, sorry about that. I had to go uh, scream at some children <laughs> if you want to if you want to get real I didn't really scream at them but I had just everyone was quiet everyone's doing their own thing all day it's been a really quiet day around here because I've had a lot of trainings and so everyone was just doing their own thing and then it's literally as soon as I hit live if you've ever done a live you know what I'm talking about as soon as I hit live I hear the back door slamming I hear two teenagers yelling at each other <laughs> I'm like what so I had to let them know you guys I'm going live and I just told you that. So, hello, hi in Ontario, Canada, Melissa. Hi, Sharon, good to see you here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop in really quick. If you're new and I'm just popping up on your feed or someone, if you guys would like to share this with your family and friends or any groups that you have or paper crafting groups, I would really appreciate that. Anything to help to get um, the word out about my crafting channel would be fabulous and my tutorials. Um, I'm Robin Cardin. I didn't, I didn't look to see that because I know my name, which is, yeah. I'm Robin Cardin and I am the owner and designer and creator behind My Pink Stamper uh, LLC or MyPinkStamper.com. And I, I work with Stampin' Up as an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator for the f past five years and I am located in the USA. So, whew, and I know that you guys are watching from all over the world, which is great. Eight o'clock might be actually a good channel or a good time for a lot of my international friends um, and those maybe uh, that don't live near my time zone at all because right now it's eight o'clock my time. And I know on the East Coast, it's 10 o'clock. It's not too late. And then on the Pacific Coast, it's you know a little bit different. And so uh, I thought eight o'clock would be a good time. Okay. So let's pop in really quick. If you're new to my channel, you're in the United States and you're interested in purchasing anything you see on tonight's video, everything can be purchased directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. And like I said, I'm based in the United States. I cannot take international orders. If you're uh, checking and watching outside of the United States and you're thinking, oh, this is something I might be interested in, reach out to me and I will get you in touch with somebody in your area. Okay, that's not in the United States. Okay, um, let's see. Before we get started, I have a weekly promotion going on right now during the month of July, but this month or this week, my promotion's really good. And I know some of my VIPs are on here and you guys know what I'm talking about. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, the host code is actually on mypinkstamper.com right now and I forgot to, I'm not good at these live things, right? So I don't have the host code, but if your order is $50 or more retail, I am going to send you in your thank you package, a package of these in good taste elements. These are new in our annual catalog. If your order is $100 or more retail, use the host code that I have. You're also going to get a brand new stamp and seal in your thank you package with the in good taste elements. If you place an order of $150 or more online, just on, on my online store, that is not part of a class, because sometimes we do uh, online classes. This is separate. If you order $150 or more with no host code, you're also going to get, you're getting both of these, which I love the stamp and seal. It's 
my favorite. You're also going to get the camouflage stamp set as a gift from me. So it's a really big promotion this month. I'm celebrating my five year anniversary with Stampin' Up! So every week I'm doing a new promotion. Um, and as always, anytime you place orders on my shopping page that are over $50, I throw in a little goodie and all orders get a handmade thank you card that I make for you. So I'm just so thankful for you guys. I just want you to know that. Okay, that is it. Am I doing my, um, did you guys see I posted my pampered pets online class? I was so happy. So yesterday, if you guys are familiar with all my online classes, I post a new online class every single week. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, I post a new class every single week, but sometimes a bundle or stamp set will go on back order right when I'm about to release it or it'll go on low inventory, so I have to change things up. So yesterday morning, I woke up and I saw that the Pampered Pets bundle was back in stock. So I designed the most amazing class ever for the Pampered Pets Um for my Pamper Pest class. I posted it this morning to my VIPs. For those of you that are watching on my team of pink stampers, if you're in the United States and you're part of our team of pink stampers, the team packets will be posted tomorrow. So one of the benefits to being on my team of, of Stampin' Up! demonstrators, um, they're called pink stampers, they get to purchase just the packet only and they have access to all of my online class videos. So um, that class is almost full, you guys. If you did not, if you don't know what I'm talking about, and you're like, Robin, I didn't see it. I have not sent the personal emails out that I usually do to all of my past class members. So I'll be doing that tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm so sorry. I got swamped today with Zoom calls. So uh, you'll want to get in that. It looks like I might have to open up a second session for that, but um, I was thinking it would just be one session, but it looks like it's going to be a super fun class. Uh, I love doing these online classes. The turnaround time for my classes are about two weeks and we give a little bit of extra time for shipping due to everything going on in the world right now. So normally they take around, you know, 10 to 12 days and now they're taking about 14, 15 days. So uh, for those of you that signed up for Celebrate Sunflowers, that'll be shipping now on Saturday morning. I am busily is that a word? Busily? I'm very busy cutting the paper and tomorrow I'll be working all day getting the class packages packaged up. The whale done class closed, filled up. I'll be working on that next week when the order gets here. So I do Stampin' Up! full time. <laughs> Obviously I have to be working full time um, to get all this stuff done because it takes hours and hours. Okay, so if you're interested in Pampered Pets online class, I have three ways to join the class. It's a pre-order. I don't carry any inventory. So everything you order from me, all of my online classes, I have to turn around and I have to order the product and then I cut the materials. There are three ways to order. The number one way is super easy. If you're new to Stampin' Up! or you don't own Pampered Pets or the watercolor pencils, I give you a PayPal link and you pay that and I send you, I order it all for you. I send it all together in one package. Maybe you want to order something else or you're like, oh, I need a seal, refill, or I need some more um, adhesive or glue. You can just place your own order with the class host code. And, um, uh, hold on, I'll answer your question in just a second. Um, okay, Ugh, sorry, I just totally lost my place. The second one, you use the class host code, you can order whatever you want, and then I send you just the packet. Elise asks, can you purchase the kits? If you're on my team of Pink Stampers, which I don't, your name does not look familiar to me. If you're on my team, I do sell the packets only. If you're not on my team, you can place an order with the class host code. Well done, already closed, but if you email me at mypinkstamper at gmail.com, I may be able to still squeeze you in tonight. Um, usually I don't overlap my classes, but okay. If you're not, go ahead and send me an email. You just need to place a an order on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com, but I have to give you a special host code to use for that class. And then you'll be signed up for the class and you'll get the online class video and they're really fun. They're, they're, um, we have a lot of fun with the classes. Okay, um, bu 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 bu. you can also join my team for $99. That, that's option number three. And then you can have access to all of my class videos. You can order the product from yourself with the discount. That is the best deal. I don't feel like I share it enough, but it's actually the best deal to be on our team of Pink Stampers if you're not a demonstrator yet. Okay, let's go ahead and I wanted to do it this way so I didn't have to run across. Okay, Elise, it's, yeah, it's just mypinkstamper at gmail.com. And I see some of my team members on here. Hi guys, the team packets will be posted tomorrow. If you decide you guys want to join my team, it's joinmypinkstamper.com. 
you will be able to sign up for the class packets tomorrow. I just have to wait to get the approval from Stampin' Up! when you join. Let me tell you a little bit about joining. It's $99, but you get to choose $125 of anything you want from the catalog or the brand new upcoming holiday catalog. So you can order some of the new stuff, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then the minimums are 300 retail a quarter. Your first minimum's not due, due till the end of December. You have plenty of time. Most of my team does not have a problem getting our minimums in, right guys? We just uh, have so much fun getting our discount and being a part of the community. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. It might be a little awkward for a second, but we're gonna go ahead. You guys are gonna be so excited. Oh, I have a fun giveaway today. I'm going to give away Hippo Happiness because I designed it. <laughs> this is this is my name right here on the side, Robin Carden. It says Million Sales Achiever, Robin Carden. So when you are a million sales, it's probably backwards right now, but that's okay because I'm gonna flip it around. Uh, when you're a million sales achiever, you get to design a stamp set. So I designed this about two years ago and it just was released in June. So I'm going to go, and some of you might have it anyway, and I will sign this copy too. If you guys have one, you might wanna give one away. Um, and I'm also going to do a demonstration with the cutest stamp set in the world. I love it so much. And I did have a class for this. Session three will be coming up sometime in the next two weeks. Um, I know I have a waiting list started. If you'd like to be on the waiting list for this class, please email me. It's easy. My email is super easy, guys. My pink, my pink stamper at gmail.com. So, so easy. Email me and I'll put you on the waiting list. Um, that waiting list is getting full, um, but I'll keep adding to it and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get stamping. Do you guys want to make a box today? I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the awkward part, but bear with me. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna be so professional. And you're gonna look up at the sky for just two seconds. And you're gonna see my ceiling. And then I'm gonna flip you around. And ta-da! Look it, I look so professional today. My team will be so impressed. <laughs> I'm always telling them ways to do, uh, you know, help get their name so people know who they are when they're doing their videos and their live videos. and. I never do that. So here I am, <laughs> Robin Carden, shopmypinkstamper.com. Hi, Debbie. Oh, nice. Yes, I did have my own stamp line for a while. Um, I got tired of working my own business and owning my own company. Can you believe that? And I uh, st uh, signed back up with Stampin' Up! five years ago. It was the best business decision I've ever made and friendship decision and just life for that matter. Um, I love being a part of the Stampin' Up! company. They are such an amazing, positive company. Okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start. So you guys wanna do this with me? Everyone grab a sheet of cardstock and grab your paper trimmer and we can make the, oh, I need my, um, I mean, need my big shot since I don't have the, the new cutting machine yet. I will have it soon. I will have it in like three weeks. Okay. If you guys have any questions, I can see all of your comments, which is great. I really like this new setup for me. I don't have to walk around awkwardly. Um, okay, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Karen. Okay, so this is who I am, Robin Carden. Shop mypinkstamper.com if you'd like to participate in this. This is week two. It's only week two. It's, no, it's week three. Sorry. <laughs> week three of my promotion and I'll show you guys really quick up closely. I know some of you are demonstrators, some of you are on my team, so you don't order this. Um, if you order $50, I will send you this in your thank you package from me. If you order $100, you'll get this and you'll get the brand new seal, our brand new adhesive. I'm gonna send everyone a brand new one of these. If you order $150, um, you'll get this stamp set. You can go to mypinkstamper.com slash blog and you can kind of read more about that if you'd like. Okay, so let's jump in. Everyone got their trimmer out? Let's do this together. I think it'll be super fun. I think it will be fun. And I am using Hippo Happiness. And I didn't even, I didn't sign mine. That's, I should sign my own, right? <laughs> Just in case. Thanks, Kim. All right, we're using the new Magenta Madness. Ooh, ooh. super fun. But let's do a box. You guys don't, I know how to make boxes. I do all sorts of fun things, but I have been doing a lot of cards lately on my, let me see if I can zoom back out, no. Um, I have been doing a lot of cards, so I'm, I wanna show you this. So everyone, who wants to do this with me? Let's do this together. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, so grab a piece. Hi Lorraine in Oklahoma. Hi Terry. Okay, so we're gonna grab a piece of 
don't know why this seems so. I'm going to make this so it's a little bit. There we go. Can you still see my name? Well, that's probably why, Robin. There we go. Okay. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Let's do this together. We're going to be cutting, and I have the measurements right here. It's so professional. It's all scribbled out because I could, I had the completed box and I couldn't remember the size. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? You've figured something out and you've designed it and made it and you forgot to write the sizes down. You're like, oh no, I'll remember for the next time. And I totally forgot. So, um, and our new adhesive, I actually use, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Seal Plus for this box because it holds it so amazingly. You, I probably won't be using this much anymore because I'm going to be using the Stampin' Seal Plus. But because I had done it with the Plus, I couldn't even tear it apart. You know, sometimes you can pop boxes apart. Um, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm losing my, my track of my mind. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's have fun tonight. I actually already got in my jammies. You guys probably can't tell because I... I don't look like I'm in my jammies, but I sleep in my pink stamper shirts all the time. So you'll be able to make four boxes from one sheet of, well, you'll need more sheets for the other parts of the box, but the actual box base are part of it. You're just going to um, need, I'm sorry, one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut five inches first. Okay, and I'm reading all of your guys' comments so I can kind of answer any questions that I see. So it's going to be five by four inches. Are you guys doing this with me? Comment and let me know if you guys are doing this with me. Say, here I am, I'm doing it, done. Okay, if you are, then I can walk you through this. So grab, go grab your paper trimmer that has the scoring blade on it and grab a sheet of cardstock. Any, any size cardstock will work. I mean, any size cardstock, any color cardstock. <laughs> we want it to be four by five inches. Okay, all right. Okay, hi, Wendy. Okay, hi, Deb. All right, so we're gonna do a little scoring now. So let me, let me remember how I'm going to do this. Okay, so turn it this way. So it's five inches like this. I meant it's five inches, right? We're going to score at two inches and make sure you use sc the scoring blade and not the cutting okay perfect thanks mona you guys can write down these instructions if you want to take a screenshot of this you can just take a quick screenshot if you know how to do that okay perfect like, i'm so official today you guys um, i usually put everything on my blog or on my youtube channel but facebook's a little difficult for that okay so i'm going to score this at two Okay, all right, and I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna score it at two again. Okay, so you'll have one inch in the center that's not, it'll look like this. Then we're gonna turn it this way, okay, and we're going to score this side, The so it'll be the four inches. We're going to be scoring this at three quarters of an inch, okay? And then we're gonna turn it, all right, super easy. Are you guys still following along? And we're gonna score this at three quarters of an inch. Okay, hi guys, hi Rhonda. All right, so that's all we need the paper cutter for for now. We'll be using it for different projects coming up probably. I'm sure I'm not prepared. All right, enough, <laughs> I think I am. And I'm like, no, I'm probably not. All right, oh, oh fun, Lorely. Okay, so now we're going to take our paper snips or scissors and just these two parts right here, we're just going to cut. Or you can use your paper trimmer. I'm just gonna do this and this, and then I'm going to turn it like this, okay? And then I'm going to turn it. Hi, Diane. Good to see you, my friend. Okay, and then I'm gonna try. Hi, Patricia. All right, I know it's getting late on the the west coast or east coast for you guys. And so I'll be as quick as I can. We're going to just kind of fold these all in, okay? Fold these all in and then we're gonna fold this. It's nice to have a nice fold before you start putting it together. Now here's a little trick that I'm going to show you. 
I'm going to take a glue dot, or you can use, where did I put my glue dots? What did I do with those? Where is my glue dot? There is my glue dot. Okay, so I'm just going to, I figured this out, because you know how you mess around and then you finally figure out how to do something right? This is gonna work for me. So I'm taking one glue dot, and I'm putting it on the corner right here, just on the corner, okay? You guys, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other corner and I'm using my nails, I know. If you don't have nails, use, take your pick tool or something like that, a bone folder. Might stick to the bone folder. Okay, so I'm doing that and the reason why is because when you fold it up, it's not going to be, oh Robin, oh Robin. I'm gonna take now, take off this glue dot. <laughs> I put it on the wrong side. Okay, I'm gonna put it on this side. That's why I like glue dots. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be on the inside. You like my, isn't my background fun? It's my secret, it's my secret uh, filming studio equipment. <laughs> okay, so if you guys already did the other part, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Oh, I know everyone's watching Christmas movies on Hallmark. I'm so jealous, I have had to work. Okay, so I did the glue dot so I can glue that like this because it's not going to be all the way over, it's just going to be like this, okay? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Your flap's going to go in, and then where you have the glue dot, you're going to do that, all right? So now it looks like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the seal plus right here and right here, and when I did this, Earlier, it's a perfect fit, so I'm going to make sure I go down the side. Whoops, let me, it was where it, there we go. I'm at a weird angle when I film, you guys. Okay, so I'm doing that, and that's going to really be pretty permanent on the paper. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, that'll be enough to do this. Okay, look at that. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. You don't want it to go all the way over. That's why we did the little glue dot first because it kind of keeps one of them in place. Okay, all right. Hi, Rosemary. All right, so there we have this box. Now we're gonna set that aside because now we're gonna make all the magic happen. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Big Shot, which I'll be using our stamp and cut and emboss thing in next month. You'll see all of the fun tutorials on that from me. All right, so now I'm using the coordinating um, dies that go along with the, make sure I have everything I need, that go along with my Hippo stamp set. I have dies, they're called Hippo and Friends, but I'm just gonna use these, part, these parts. I'm gonna use this first. I'm using this big fun frame, isn't it so fun? And I'm going to add it on here and there we go, put that on here. I like these dies because if you wanted to, you can cut two pieces of cardstock at a time. These, I don't know what they did, they made my dies magic and they're so fun. So look at that, okay, isn't that so cute? Okay, I'm gonna show you what we're doing soon. I'm going to do it like this so I can save that big piece for a project and a card. Save your scraps, especially of your pink ones because Pink is amazing. <laughs> Hi, Mona again. Okay, sorry, I'm like trying to answer, read you guys, read your comments. Okay, that's all I'm doing for a second, but I'm gonna be pulling it right back out. So set those aside, and now I'm going to grab the size that is the next size down. We're actually gonna use all three of these, so I might as well do that right now. I shall. Okay, now we just need one of these, and what I'm going to be using is our amazing new designer series paper that coordinates with all of our color families. I love these dots. I need a whole pack of just the dots for all of the colors. That's all I want is the dots. The others are nice, but the dots are, the, are amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the end. I'm only, I only need one. So while I do that, I'm also going to be putting in my silver foil and I'm going to use the next, the smallest size. So this is a fun die set because they nest in each other but they're not the same shape, which is really cool. The other ones in the set all nest and they're the same shape. They're just a little bit bigger than each other, if that made any sense. I'm gonna roll this through and 
This is the cutest project ever. Can I say that? I can say that. I can say that if I want, because it's so cute. You're gonna be amazed. All right, so let me just set all of these aside. Just throw them on the other side of the table, actually. I don't have time for that right now. I'm in creative splendor. There's things flying all over my table. It was actually kind of clean, if you want to know the truth. I'm normally much more of a mess, messy person, but I was designing the class yesterday, so today I'm actually kind of clean. Okay, hi in Vermont. Hi, Carol. Hi, Marcy. Okay, so I am going to grab my cutest, the cutest hippo ever. Oh my goodness, who owns this stamp set? Do you guys let me know if you own this? Because I'm, I'm just going to be so honored that you either signed up for one of my classes or you just bought it because you loved it. That makes my heart swell because I love it so much. Okay, I'm going to use a cute, this is the cutest smiley face. It really is. Makes me happy. Are you guys having a happy day? Is today a good day where you live? I hope it is. I woke up this morning and it, it seemed like fall. It was overcast, but it wasn't like a gloomy overcast. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you guys have it. Yay, yay, yay. All right, let me grab my Whisper White cardstock. Oh my goodness, Robin. I have a mess now. It was all organized. What's wrong? Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get my dimension, or my, um. I'm good. I'm good, everyone. She's okay. She's got these nails and she can't, that's what, if you're watching for this for the first time, you're gonna be like, oh, that Robin Cardin. She's got these nails, she can't pick up paper. She's a hot mess. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut <laughs> a piece of our Whisper White in half, just since I have the paper trimmer right there and I'm gonna use this, okay. Now, if you have a piece of background paper, you guys can actually make this with me if you want. You can go pull out your set. <sighs> it's okay. I knew you meant me. <laughs> when you said Renee, I knew you meant. I'm like, she probably means Robin. That's okay. I knew what you meant. That's all that matters. All right. So what I'm going, going to do first is I'm opening up my magenta. Hi, Julie. Oh, you are? Oh, I want to see them. Oh, it's not too hot here today. I think it was like in the high 80s, maybe low 90s. Okay, so I'm stamping on the Whisper White. This is Magenta Madness. I'm mad. Okay, wait, I'll wait to talk until the hippo's done. All right, so I'm going to stamp off on my background paper first. Ta-da. And then I'm going to get a lighter version. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for now. We're gonna make a card with this soon. And now I'm going to go ahead and ink up this beautiful hippo. I'm a beautiful hippo. All right, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> This is normal, I'm not gonna lie. We have fun. We have so much fun here. Oh, I wanna go to the Jersey, I wanna go to New Jersey. I wanna go anywhere right now. All right, I'm gonna be, try not to be loud. Um, I usually line up the feet and then the ears. I'm really off right now because, let me try this again. I'm gonna, I don't want you guys to see my hair and my head in my video. I don't really like that when you guys can see that, so. I have to get kind of over the top. You can also use the Stamparatus. I'm sure some of you just said, why don't you use the Stamparatus? Because I didn't need to, ha, ha, ha. But sometimes I do, <laughs> just not today. I know, Patty, wasn't my class so fun? Yay. I can say that because it was a really good class. Almost killed me, but it was a good class. Okay, so here's the smiley face. Oh, I'm, you guys know that the hippo is about to come out. I am about to start talking hippo talk in a second. I'm sorry. Apologize. I am a 47-year-old woman. I know I shouldn't be talking like a hippo, but why not? Who cares, right? You got to be you. Okay, so I'm going to take... Did you know that there's frames that go around all of the animals in my stamp set? Let me point these out really quick. We have a hippo. We have a horse that turns into a unicorn, I know. It's a unicorn! Then we have a sheep, we have a butterfly, balloon, flower, everything in the world, you know. Oh, I forgot, we're gonna do one more thing. Let's go ahead and do the other thing. We're going to stamp this cute flower. Am I entertaining, you guys? Some of you guys are like, what am I watching? Why am I watching this crazy lady? 
stamp, but wait, I can't look away. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> can't look away. She's crazy, but I'm gonna wanna watch her again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm stamping the flower and I'm having this conversation with myself. Okay, now I'm going to grab the dies that go with that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this right here. Oops. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And I wanna point out that since the flowers are so small, they have made three of the flower dies, so you could do a whole bunch at once if you want, which is nice. I get a lot of questions about what these are for, so it's a good time to address it. What are these for? Well, these are little slits that go on the tag and they're for your ribbons. So you punch or cut these out, then you go back through and you put one of these on and you run it through again, and then you can slide your ribbon through. Okay, where is that flower? Where did the flower go? Oh, my kids are gonna be loud, but that's okay. I mean, what can I do? I can't do anything. I can't send them anywhere. There we go. One of them's even singing for you. I don't need to tape them down. Watch, it's gonna mess up. If you wanna tape them down with washi, you totally can. I just didn't wanna take the extra time. I am like a, everything I do, I wanna do it like fast, fast, fast. So I don't take the time to do that. And if you hold it down securely when you're putting it through, you typically don't have to do that. All right, so I'm gonna use that. I'm probably going to stamp another one of those. I should have just done it all at once, but oh well. It's more time, more time with me. And some more fun stories for you. Do I have any stories? Let me see, normally I have stories. I don't know if I have any today. Uh, let's see, because I'm not really going anywhere <laughs> right now. I'm not really doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and let's see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of our regular seal. This is the Stampin' Seal and okay. I know it always happens when it's live. I'm just going to lay it flat and roll it toward me. Ta-da, and I'm doing that one again because it was a ghost one. Here we go. Uh, I know, isn't that fun, Wendy? Okay, so I'm gonna put this right on here. I love the polka dots. And then let's go ahead and take our hippo and let's add some of our Stampin' Dimensionals on here. Okay. Oh, going back to my class right now, my Pampered pest, Pets, Pests, Pampered Pests. If you sign up by tomorrow night, you're going to get a free package of mini dimensionals as a gift from me. And everyone gets a Stampin' Blender pen, not a Stampin' Blend, you get a blender pen because it's a watercolor class. All right, so let's put the cute little, oh my goodness, and, he, and she didn't even talk. Oh my goodness, I'm so cute. I don't know how I would talk, probably like this. Maybe Robin should write children's books. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I can't help it. Brian will tell you that. Brian just left my room a little while ago. He could tell I was in this mood, but hopefully I am bringing a smile to at least one of your faces. Jenny, yes, I earned the second Maui trip. I earned it actually the first month that we could earn it. So I earned it back in October. And so I earned the elite trip um, a long time, a while ago. So they'll be announcing the next trip that we can earn soon. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to find out <laughs> where we get to go next. Yay, okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this on and this is going to go over the ear. It's so adorable. You're smiling, yay. I'm happy that I made you smile, Wendy. That makes me smile. Okay, and now I'm going to take one of our gems, our rhinestones and I'm put it right there. Isn't that cute? Yay. So this could be your card right here. <sighs> Let's see here. Now we're gonna put the box together, but yes, but wait, there's more. Okay, so we wanna put this on here, all right? And we don't want it to be down flat because we want, this is just going to kind of hang up, hang right here. So what I'm going to do is kind of, if you wanted to kind of put, do a pencil, you kind of mark or eyeball, I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus 
That was me reminding them that I'm live. <laughs> I had to laugh. So, okay, that was really funny. I know that was funny. You guys will appreciate that or think I'm crazy. The kitchen is right below my craft room. And so I heard them all forgetting that I was live and loud, being loud. All I have to do is stamp my feet and make a wish. And my wish was that they would be quiet for just a few more minutes or go in another room of the house. I know it's so cute, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And this one's going to go like this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just putting the seal kind of in the center. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. And then you're gonna wanna kind of, I'm gonna do this on the top. You're gonna kind of line it up. You can't see my hair, can you? Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna hold it, this is so cute. But wait, there. now look, it stands up by itself. But wait, there's more. There's always more with Robin. Where is it? Okay, so now if you want, you can take some of this beautiful designer series paper and you can cut it down to three inches by one. So one by three, I don't know why I said three by one one by three and do four of them. And then grab some Hershey's nuggets and cover them up so they coordinate and they match. I know I'm a genius, she's a genius. Look at this, so amazing. She's in a sing-song mood, but she can't sing very well, who cares? All right, all right, here you go, okay. Here we go, and I'm trying to read all of your guys' comments. Thank you for the fun comments. So I'm just going to slip these in here because you can fit four. And what a great gift for someone. Nice, have so much fun with it, Nicole. Okay, Ooh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that was, I don't know what I did. Oh. Did you guys hear me stomp on the floor? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? I know. Or you think I'm just a mean mom, I'm really not. I'm super nice. I'm the nicest mom in the world. I don't know why this one's not going in there. Oh, I think it's because, there we go. Here we go. You can put a handle if you want. I like it like this. But you could, and you know what? You could use my little, the little finger my bobs in here. Where are they? They're right here. And when you're cutting out this shape here, you just go ahead and cut that on the top and then you have little you can do one handle or you could do two. All right, isn't this so cute? It would look good on my desk, thank you. I'm gonna put it behind me when I'm done. I can't eat the chocolate. I'm reminding, that's an out loud reminder. <laughs> oh, you don't have it, that's okay, don't use, fill it with something else. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have filled it with nuggets. I can't let anybody in my family know that I have some of those. It's probably the only chocolate left in our house right now. All right, let's make a card. Let's make a card. All right, I'm gonna grab just all of these things that I pulled out. Do you guys remember the sizes for the box? Four by five, super easy. You can make four from one sheet of cardstock. And then you could, you need more for the other parts. Okay, all right, now, and here's the other one that I made. Ta-da! And this I used a little bit different the background paper that's in there. Okay, you guys having fun? It's so much fun to stamp with friends, isn't it? It's so much better to stamp with friends. Oh, sorry, I'm hot. These lights, I have my studio lighting on right now. It's very, very, very bright. Okay, I thought we could make a cute and simple card to kind of coordinate with a little gift. You could make a little note card to give with them. I'm just gonna make a really big card. I think I'm gonna grab an embossing folder. Let me go grab an embossing folder really quick. I'll be right back. Doo, 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 doo. I already know which one I'm using, of course, because this one looks the best embossed with foil. All right, let me grab all my other stuff that I need. I need a different plate. I cannot wait for our new um, die cut machine. You guys, it's, everything's gonna be in one. I don't need to have a million different things. It'll be great. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this piece of foil. It should be four and a quarter. Four and a, five, four, 
by five and a quarter. Yes. Okay. And I know the dots are so much cuter, Kathy. I agree. I agree 100%. I'm a dots girl. I like some stripes too, but dots are my favorite. Okay, so I think we'll have this card. I already have a hippo one going like this. So I'm going to have it go like this. So let's have the, this is the brick and mortar folder. So I'm going to go ahead and have it. Oh, I did it wrong anyway. After I just said that I'm not doing it that way. What am I doing? Yeah, I want to be like this. I'm going to have a conversation with myself. There we go. I'm going to run this through. Okay. And just put this aside for a second because we're going to be doing a little more, a little bit more stamping. All right. Ready? If you've never seen this before, prepare to be amazed. Hi, Jojo. Ding. I don't know why I said ding. Ding. Ping! It's like getting it out of the microwave. It's ready. All right. Okay, so now I thought I'm going to use some of this because why wouldn't I use this amazing paper? This can be a simple card, a card that just anyone could make. So if you're new to stamping, this is probably a simple card for you. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll grab a two and a half inches using my handy stampin' trimmer. If you don't have a paper trimmer yet, this one is amazing. It's called the paper trimmer easy to remember and then I'm going to cut this at four inches right yeah four inches set those aside I save all of my beautiful paper this might be a little let me see I'm gonna go with it I'm going for it and I need to grab a piece of thick whisper white cardstock for my base it was right behind me I'm gonna score this this is five and a half by eight and a half Okay, and then I'm going to pull this right here toward me. Beep. I'm just the sound effect lady today. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. Is everyone, is this thing on? <laughs> you guys know I like comments, especially when I can read them right in front of my face. They're normally not right in front of me, but I'm reading all of your comments. I love that you're here with me. I know it's late for some of you. I might make that smaller. We will see. We will see what I'm going to do. Okay, so now let's, I think I'm going to kind of go with the same theme. I have to make this smaller. It's driving me nuts. It's too big. It's too big. I'm going to do one and a half instead of two and a half. Okay, and I can save that strip for another card. For another day, my friend. There we go. Yes, that's Robin's style. That is it. All right, let's go ahead and do the, we'll do this again. And some of you are just popping on later so we'll go ahead and when you're using the photopolymer it's nice to put a foam underneath so if you have uh this is our stamparatus foam mat or a paper piercer or any kind of pad of paper my surface is a little bit softer or it has a little bit of a give so that works for me and we're using the magenta again because i don't want to have to go over high in arizona heather you're speaking right in front of you i lost my chamois and i just used it oh <laughs> You just used it. I'm sorry about that. I just ordered a new chamois uh, yesterday with my order. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp off. I'll just stamp off on that one because we all know I'm not using it. Okay, I must have something on here. I do. I have something on here. I'm going to do that one again. Yep, I didn't care. Got ink got all over my hand. A little piece of lint had picked up on it. Okay, I'm going to do this here and then I'm going to stamp it off here. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go ahead and grab, let's grab this. Look at how messy I am. I'm so messy. And then I'm going to try to line this up again. Like I said, hi in Australia, Lisa in Australia. Okay, this one I'm not going to stamp off. How about I zoom in? Look at the power of movie magic. And You can't see my hair if it's hanging over this side. Okay, I'm going to try to line this up and I'm going to say a quick wish. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Almost perfect. Practically perfect in every way. Let's go ahead and stamp the... This is probably really good time for Australia, isn't it? This is the time I'm usually chatting with my friend Alyssa Tilsner in Australia. She's... I think she's still on here tonight. You better be on here. I just said your name. Say hi, Alyssa. Um, but this is usually the time. I'm usually about to go to bed and she's just 
messaging me. Hi. You, another Australia. Hello. I've, how is it there right now? Is it cold? It's winter, isn't it? It's the middle of our summer here, and I've heard that it's pretty cold there from my Australian friends. All right. Okay, so, and in North Dakota cam. I always feel like North Dakota's cold, but probably not in the in the summer, huh? It's probably like more like Montana. All right, so I'm gonna do this again. Look it, and this is Hippo Happiness. This was my million dollar stamp set that I helped to design when I went to Stampin' Up's headquarters for my million dollar achievement, and I'm just so proud of this stamp set. They did such a great job. It's exactly what I wanted it to be, so. It's just amazing. The company, Stampin' Up! is just such a wonderful company to work with. I love working with them as an independent demonstrator. Okay, I'm gonna find my frames. I don't even know what the card's gonna look like yet. Let's go ahead and do, <laughs> since I did that and I did that, let's, I wish we, I wish we had, but I don't. So I'm not gonna say it, because we don't carry it anymore. Some of you know I'm gonna say silver glimmer paper but that's okay. I get rid of all my retired since I do Stampin' Up! full-time as my full-time job. I don't have room for everything. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there, and then I'm gonna take this little uh, tie or bow, whatever we wanna do with it. It's the same color. I probably should have made it a gray. I should have, hmm. We could make my hippo gray, but I don't wanna go across the room. I'm feeling a little bit lazy right now. Plus, I got stuff to do after this video. After my live, I have to work until midnight tonight, so. <sighs> but, you know, I can sleep in a little bit tomorrow. I'll be able to sleep till like eight or nine, maybe. We will see. Okay, all right. And then now we have this cute, cute, look at how sweet it is. Oh, I hear them again, ready? You have to do it. That's a reminder that I'm, on, I'm doing a live video. For those of you that do live videos, you will understand exactly what I'm saying. Um, and that was there. My, that's all I needed is me to like stomp my foot. It didn't work. That was a three stomper. That was you guys. I mean business here. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead. Let me look at this. So let's do this because I'm going to use my big shot in a second. And then I'm going to be using this on here somewhere. It's just going to be a simple card guys. There's going to be nothing life changing tonight. If you're popping in late, I already made this. So then I'm good, right? <laughs> this is super cute. All right, so this is the hippo. Um, let's see, let's look at the sentiments and let's do um, hippo birthday or let's do, let's do, hmm, let's do hippo birthday. I send a lot of birthday cards to you guys. And I also send a lot of hip hip hooray to my team. So I guess I could have used either one, it didn't matter. Hippo birthday, put it anywhere you want. And then I'm just going to pick one that it will like kind of pop out of over. This is my design process tonight. Oh, then we could do some balloons. Ha ha ha. We could do some balloons, you guys. Maybe we will. This is turning into a 20 hour card. Okay, I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be amazing. You're all gonna love it, I hope. My friend Allison is watching. Hi, Allison. I just called you out, girl. Better say hi. Or else. And I'm in a Robin mood. I'm in a real Robin mood. If you guys have familiar with my live shows, sometimes I'm just real Robin, really Robin, and that's all I have to say. And you're like, oh, she's in one of those moods. I just, you guys are my friends, so I talk to you as if you're in the room. I would have gone crazy this past four months if I didn't have my online friends. Okay, what did I just do with that? Here it is. Okay, this is turning into, I don't know yet. Okay, we're gonna do that. I know I'm wasting some paper. I'm sorry about that for all you paper hoarders. I meant conserva conservus, conservus. I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're gonna do some balloons too, so. All right, so I have hippo birthday. This is the thought process. Oh, I got ink all over my hands, that's okay. We're gonna put it right here. Oh, you know what else we could do? Oh, that might be fun. Okay, I need some black cardstock. You guys, I'm going crazy, I can't stop. I cannot stop. Where's my black cardstock? Here it is. Okay, 
creative juices are flowing. She could not stop. She tried. It was a hot mess. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm going fast. Ha, ha, ha. Did you decide what you're making? I did. I, didn't you see it, Allison? It's amazing. And it's got the Hershey's Nuggets in it. And now we're making just a coordinating card. Okay, that can go in my scraps. And then now... <laughs> okay, this is coming together just what I envisioned. Phew. I didn't know I had this in me tonight. Aren't you guys surprised? You haven't got my stamp set? Okay, you'll love it when you get it. I promise. Okay, so one and three quarters. I want to kind of make sure this is... I'm going to do the halfway mark as best as I can. And I'm going to cut it in half. Save the half for the other card you're going to make. And then I'm going to put... I don't even know what it's going to look like, honestly. I'm going to put the new seal on the bot, the back. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the top half. I almost got so excited I couldn't speak. The half. Oh my goodness, how adorable. You're seeing it live, folks. I don't know how it happens, but it's going to be so cute. I know, it's going to be cute. I think I'm going to line that up there. And then I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to do some balloons. So I'm going to just do pink balloons. I know everything's going to be monochromatic-ish on this card. Okay, let me grab the balloon because I'm already going that direction. You guys like this? I see the hearts. It makes me happy. It makes my heart happy. You guys are making me happy today. Oh, I love you all the best. You're my favorites. Don't tell everybody, but you're my favorites. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take the balloon and I'm going to stamp solid. I'm gonna stamp off. Oh, you guys like me. Are you just saying that because you wanna win the giveaway? That's okay, I don't care. However you do it, it's up to you. Oh, I can't help it. Oh, Amy Fulmer really loves me. She gave me the most hearts, you guys. Oh, aren't you guys so sweet? Okay, all right, now what I'm going to do let me think for a second. I'm trying to think of what I have over there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the balloons. Where's my balloon? Here it is. And there's only one of these, which is okay. So I'm just going to run this through three times. You guys are getting like, this is longer than one of my class videos almost, isn't it? But I had no idea what I was doing. My class videos, I've already designed the classes for you guys. So here we go. And right now, my classes, the one that I'm talking about, Pampered Pets, can be purchased, pre-ordered in, in uh, Canada as well. So if you're in Canada and you're watching this, reach out to me. I'll get you in touch with Allison, who's doing it in Canada. All right, I'm going to... That balloon's a little off, but who cares? Nobody cares. Hi, Terry. I know. I miss Oklahoma. I really, really, really... Let's talk Oklahoma for a second, you guys. I love Utah, it's great. But my home, my heart is in Oklahoma a little bit. I lived there for 10 years. I raised my children there, basically. And then we've lived in Utah for six years now. But, you know, I played a lot of tennis in Oklahoma and there's not a lot of that as much where I live in, in Utah. There's more, more fun tennis groups in Oklahoma, so. When you look at tennis courts, think of me in Oklahoma. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some string of some sort. I have something, maybe linen. I'll just do linen thread because it's right here behind me somewhere. It's in one of these drawers. Let me see. You guys are wondering what drawers is she looking through? We'll just do this one. This one will be fine. We'll use linen thread. So what I'm going to do you're like, how is she going to do that? How is she going to pull this card off? I'm, I'm like so amazed at her abilities. Really, you shouldn't be because, you know, I just like working with pink. That's it. And, and elephants. All right. <laughs> and hippo. Why don't I have an elephant in that stamp set? I really should have one. You guys agree? I know. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm using our, the seal. I'm a pro at it now. There's a little bit of a learning curve, I'll be honest. But once you have it, you'll never want to let it go. 
Oh, are you trying to do the card? I'm sorry, Beth Ann. I'm really, I'm so fast. I'm really not. I just don't know what I'm doing on this card yet. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful. I think my other hippo has the same background. I just remembered. All right. I don't think I'm going to use that bow. I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I kind of know what I'm doing. I have one dimensional left for that, and then I don't want to cut the rest yet. All right. Let's go ahead and stick this on here. I'm going to kind of have it off. I'm going to have it in the white a little bit. Okay. I like to mix it up. Now I'm going to take the balloons. I'm going to start with the balloons and I'm going to turn these over. I think I did a class. I think in actually in the hippo class, I think it has the balloons, doesn't it? You guys, I don't remember. I do so many classes. I don't remember the designs anymore. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot down because for what I'm doing, this will be the easiest for me. I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of each of these. Oh, my nails are a mess. I'm a, I'm a, a mess. Let's hope this turns out. It's always interesting doing live videos. You nearly never know what you're going to get. Okay. I'm going to grab my pair of scissors. My kids have not destroyed and I'm going to start with one of these. Oh, don't do that, Robin. I'm going to push this in there. Ha ha ha. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of our mini dement. Actually, I can just use a full. Where's my other fulls? Here's a new sheet. I'll just grab that. That's going to fit right over that on the back. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this one. Let me kind of figure what I'm doing. I'm so creative tonight. I'm going to have it off like this. So it's going to pull like this. Okay. So what I can do right now, Oh, I can do that because I'm going to have this right here. I can go ahead and just take, I'm just going to take a little tape because it's going to be covered up with that anyway. And it's just easier for me right now. Well, I say that and then it's not. Oh, you tape. You tape. It says, well, you haven't used me in a couple weeks, which is true because I'm using my new seal on everything. Okay, I'm going to put that there and then I'll go ahead and just trim this right up. Okay. So doesn't that, can you kind of see where it's going? Super easy to do. Really, anyone can do it. Anyone. And then I'm going to, let me see if I have the light one. Yeah, I do have the light one. I'm going to grab the light one, press that in there, pull it like this. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a dimensional over the top. My foot is going numb. Oh my goodness. That's, oh, I almost put on the wrong one. That would have been funny. Not really, because I would have been like, ah, oh, got to stamp it again. Okay, this one's going to kind of, pull like this and I'm going to pull it down like that. So let me grab my tape, put my tape over the top of that again. Okay. And then I can cut that. Super cute. Are you guys so impressed? Really? You should be. If you watch my other shows, you're like, ah, those are kind of super simple, but this one's a little more impressive. If I do say so myself, I know the balloons are so perfect. I <laughs> I'm not saying that because I, this is my stamp set. I'm saying because I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of figure out where the third balloon's gonna be. Sometimes there's a balloon that's just like kind of off like this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have this one. It's like, I don't wanna be with you guys. I wanna be different. So I'll be over here and happy. Okay, happy as a lark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You guys, so cute. Let's go ahead and turn this over. And I love this card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys got a really good card tonight. Oh, I'm going to post pictures of this on mypinkstamper.com tomorrow. I'll have all of the supplies that I use. I'll have the sizes just to make it easy for you. And I'm going to cover up the tape. It's going to be like that. Kind of line that up. I'm trying to cover the tape up. So super cute. And if you wanted to take this tie, it could be a little bow tie right there. Should we do the bow? Let's do the bow tie. Let's, why not? Why not? Everybody's doing it. Might as well do the bow tie. I peer pressured myself into it. Nobody's even in my room. I'm literally talking to myself. Wow. Wow, Robin. Wow. All right. There we go. Happy birthday. Do you guys like it? You guys ready for me to do the giveaway? All right. 
All right, so don't forget, if you'd like to place an order, I am so grateful for any and all orders I get in my online shop. I really appreciate it. Uh, working a small business from my house is not an easy thing, especially right now with everything going on in the world. I truly appreciate all your support. Okay, I'm gonna come around and let's go ahead and we'll pick a winner. Let's just pick one right now, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this over because I know how to do this. I've been doing lives for too long to forget. Hey. Now my hair is all back behind my ears. I'm all sweating. <sighs> all right, who's going to win Hippo Happiness? Okay, so here's how, here's how I work. Here's how I work, guys. Everyone that is in the USA has the opportunity to win, so I'm, I apologize if I pick your name and you're not in the US, please let me know. I'm so sorry, just because Stampin' Up! is my business and I have to run everything through the United States. Um, that is connected to my business. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna scroll through and I just pick somebody that's participated and I look and it is Lynn Tag. So congratulations, Lynn. Are you in the US? I think you're in the US. 